to game two between Ziki and Terra. This is going to be Fighting Spirit Mania, game two of set two. Ziki convincingly taking game one. Upper left hand corner, we have Terra starting as the pink turn. Bottom left hand corner, we have Ziki starting as the green Zerg. And it looks like Ziki is going to get first scout. Now, this is not cross spawn position, which means in the mid game, Terra doesn't have to deal with that big open. It feels. I need a word that's better than doodads. The terrain. The terrain is difficult across the middle of the map at cross spawn positions for Terran. As we saw in the previous match, Terra really not able to apply pressure to Ziki in the mid game. SCV Scout moving out very rapidly here. <clears throat> Are we going to see a forward racks? Yeah, forward racks. I don't know if this is going to get scouted by this Overlord or not. I think on this, the flight path might just miss it. And actually this Overlord, so this is going to be... This is going to be a threatening position. Doodad is good? Okay. Chat is letting me know doodad is a good term to use. Just sounds kind of silly when I say it. it. Sounds like one of those silly words. Doodad. Maybe because dad's in it and dads tend to be silly? I don't know. Ziki in the meantime... Moving out to go ahead and open up with a 12 hatch. Actually, never mind. Moving out with the scouting drone towards that right hand corner. And this is going to be the question is, is does this overlord. Yeah, meander across this path to see this forward barracks? Because knowing that it's a forward barracks and therefore you're going up it. So it sees the SCV moving its way across. You can see double scout. The Overlord not getting caught, so Terra is going to have to move. But this SCV is going to get scouting information required. And I don't know... Yeah, so Ziki sees it now. Sees the glowing barracks. And if he didn't there, the drone able to get scouting information. The drone now fleeing. Only has about two health. SCV is going to wander up into the main to go ahead and get scouting information, confirming that it was a 12 hatchery on the opposite side. But now you've got Marines streaming down. Drones do need to get pulled to deal with this. Because otherwise there is... Yeah, there, there's the bunker being built already. Drone confirming location. And here come Ziki's drones. It feels like these are a tad late, though. Are in large numbers. Ooh, cancellation of the bunker. Or at least a pause on the building. The drone's trying to get across and get a surround. Ziki able to peek through the SCV line. One of them going down. But both Marines nearly getting surrendered. Another SCV moving up to go... Finish the bunker, though. Clever maneuver on Terra's part. So just stutter stepping around. So the bunker completes and a Marine is in fact in it. So loses the Marines behind. But now the drones are going to be boxed out. And potentially, yeah, this is going to force a lot of Zerglings here from Ziki. Six Zerglings already taking the field. Drones in position to cut off reinforcements. The Zerglings actually running across. So four Zerglings making the way. Is Ziki going to go for a counterattack with this? The drones making their way back down. Another because of that Zergling run by a bunker being forced at the natural. The drones just scooting by. Doesn't look like any of them got taken out. SCV's trailing. So it's potentially going to be a worker fight right there. The Zerglings forcing a liftoff of the bunker there. Two Marines here. Some nice counter pressure on Ziki's part. And a command center being dropped. At the end of the day, I think this does pay off for Terra, though. As he's got 20 workers versus the 13 here. And this also slows down... Wow, and there's just no saturation here at the main. Zergling's finally surrounding that bunker. The rest of the Marines... And this forced a lot of Zerglings. Looks like those Zerglings were, in fact, taken out. Well, no, I think maybe some of them ran back with the rest of the attack force. Layer tech now being upgraded. Both players going to be at more of a staggered, and it's kind of resetting the build order now. Kind of at a staggered pace with that at this stage. Second barracks, and we'll see how things settle when we have that spire timing. Nice defense, though, by Ziki overall. 
actually very rapidly behind this, droning up to instantly equalize the worker count. And on top of that, with all of these Zerglings, potentially going to hunt down that... Is he going to go for Zergling Speed? Zergling Speed is being researched. So potentially going to hunt down that SCV and keep Terra in the dark. Until that commsat station is built. We do see two racks. Academy follow-up. No engineering bay dropped as of yet. Oops. Accidental restoration. Being researched instead of stim. Another SCV moving out just to see if zeki has gone for a third base as of yet. Zeki has not yet made motions. A creep colony already preventatively being plopped down. SCV's taken out in that bottom right hand corner. There's the Zergling got the kill right there. And it looks like Zeki's going to go ahead and grab, I assume, the main in bottom right. This SCV going to be able to sweep right back and confirm location without a commsat. Engineering bay being dropped behind this. Spire halfway finished and on the way. A third barracks being added on. A decent amount of medic marines to go ahead and deal with these mutalisks. And look at this sneaky SCV. What a hero. Compsat from Terror, confirming Spire timing. And the SCV in the bottom right, confirming that hatchery. Without the Compsat. Which is actually pretty, pretty big deal. Range being upgraded. Plus one weapons a little bit delayed, just starting just now. And Mutalisks are now taking flight. Two creep colonies not yet upgraded. The Overlord's looking to spot to see whether these Marines are going to move out. We do have a Fire Bat with this grouping, which suggests... This is going to be a potential bust. Compsat being dropped. Pressure on the move out. Zerglings getting a run by. Fire Bats on the line getting surrounded. So Siki able to get across, take out some turrets, and the Zerglings plus the Mutalisks could be a big threat. However, Medic Marines marching cross map to go ahead and wipe this command center out. But, and yeah, Ziki not spotting it at all. So the Zerglings running free here, able to get some damage. But an unopposed medic marine grouping from Terror, able to wipe out this base in the bottom right. Zeke with eight Mutalisks, carving up what's left, still has two Zerglings free. Gonna go for counter damage here. The Zerglings working on the turrets. This is a lot of economic damage that Terra is taking. And he needs to be careful because Ziki with some additional Mutalists might be able to end the game right here. So the Medic Marines need to haul and get back to the main base before Ziki is able to reinforce. Otherwise, he might be able to win it on two hatch alone. Fortunately from, for him, it looks like some Mutalists on the reinforcement point getting out of position. Several sunken colonies drop on the front. So yeah, now Zeki kind of committed. He does have a third hatchery in the main, dropping his Hydralist den behind this. But certainly going to try to get a lot out of these Mutalisks. Full control group here. Looks like they are going to be able to potentially take that barracks out. The reinforcements from that bottom right re-engaging and peeling out a lot of those Mutalisks. That was without plus one weapons, and that is going to end that attack. More mules rejoining, another drone being sent out. So at the end of the day, Terror still maintains a pretty sizable worker count. Took some damage, didn't end up losing this barracks. Still needs to get additional barracks up. To push that count. Looks like a Mutalist is going to make bottom right just to go ahead and make sure everything's cleared right here. And Zeke's going to take that bottom natural expansion as 
his third base. Wailing on that factory. So three barracks up, but this has been quite a delay because of all that interference on that science facility. So Zeke looks like he is going to get quite a bit of bonus out of the mutilus play. Factory down, plus one weapons is now here, which means these turrets are going to be all the more fragile. Lone Marines getting picked off in that back, and we have a full control group again. Can two shot those turrets easily with the eight count. See, he needs to be, still needs to preserve these and be a little bit careful diving in. Another mule's getting wiped out. This is allowing him to get this base in that bottom right, but this is going to be on a deep delay. Three bunkers on the front just in case there was a Zergling all in to join. Terra shelling up. To defend. Mutalisks getting nigh obliterated. Two left heavily damaged. Six left with the grouping otherwise. However, the science vessels coming out and the fourth barracks coming down very, very late. So Zeke's still in this. Queen's Nest is there. No third gas as of yet. Mule's taking additional fire. Siki able to get a good amount of damage, but now down to five Mutalisks. But a big grouping of Lurkers out in the middle of the map with those delayed science vessels. This could be a really critical hold position Lurker. Actually, never mind. Lurker Ling all in at the natural. Plenty of bunkers to deal with this, though. Compsat to provide the detection. Firebats there to deal with the Zerglings. One bunker down. Three lurkers still remaining. The science vessel now in place. And Terror with the future site knowing that there was going to be an all-in attempt right there. Able to clear out a lot of lurkers and Zerglings and stay in this match. Irradiate now being dropped on the front. Ziki allowing his offense to be his defense as that third gas is up, making his way towards Hive. But critically, the science vessel count has been really stymied. Six barracks now because of all of that harassment from Ziki in the earlier point of the match. And it feels like Ziki actually ended up moving a bit ahead of Terror. Getting guff and chat for Ziki. Ziki, I am told the pronunciation is. I don't mind the correction. It's not a lack of respect, it's a lack of knowledge. There's a difference. Irradiate dropped on lurkers at the natural expansion. Additional bunkers moving forward. Terror. Pressing that edge. Dropship being produced. And Terror's going to need a lot with that dropship. Lurker not burrowed in that bottom right corner and needs to burrow soon. As some medic marines have managed to edge around the northern corridor. Ziki doesn't realize... I don't think he realizes these troops are at his doorstep. This is sufficient to potentially bust here. Lurker wiped out. Zerglings flooding through the Nidus. However, on move command. But it looks like the Zerglings are going to be sufficient to wipe this troop out. Ziki defends. And now that dropship is going to be all the more critical. But it looks like it's going to be spotted by Siki's overlords. Marines able to press through, so. But this front door is solid for Siki. And we already have Scourge along the way. It looks like Dropship holding up short, realizing that it was spotted. 
maybe can get something done in that bottom right hand base. But right now, it looks like Siki's going to be able to go ahead and establish four bases. And that's going to be four gas to run on. Terra's science vessel count has been shortened up just because of all of the disruption that happened in that mid game. Looking for a drop, but Scourge already in position to engage. Going to reposition, maybe drop over that natural. So two lurkers dealt with the Scourge. One lands. Two fire bats and a marine make their way out. Able to get at least two drone kills, but this isn't what... So at least able to get something, but honestly not a massive amount. Now pushing into the natural with the lack of lurkers there. Dark Swarm being dropped. Zerglings moving in position. The Force Hunt Colonies hold. I think that was a desperation attack by Terror. He needed to make something happen. One drone off the line. It's a kamikaze drone right there, if I've ever seen one. He's holding gas on everything. Ultralis Cavern is down. It's going to be moments before we see initial Ultralis take the field. And as I say that, we have three morphing to the bottom right expansion. Fourth gas potentially in position and Terra has not yet grabbed his third and honestly in this match I don't know that he's going to get an opportunity to do so Firebats, Medic Marines grouping up to engage bottom left only two science vessels in the air four sunken colonies no lurkers here though The Zerglings trailing, the Defiler irradiated, the Zerglings pushing out, but Ultralis engaging the Medic Marine grouping from the right-hand side. And wiping out the one bit of purchase that Terra had on the map. Things looking scary for Terra now, as Zeki has the supply lead. Has Zerglings flooding out. He's got four gas to work with. And these sunken colonies, although battered, are still in place. Also, excellent vision to see potential drops moving out. Zergling's actually pushing up to the 12 o'clock location to potentially disrupt this command center there. But Zeki in a great position to go ahead and macro up behind this. Ultra speed not that long away. All sorts of hatcheries. Could probably even add some considering he's got 46 drones and four bases to work with. The main mind out for terror. So needs to be able to hold it. And this is looking similar to game one of this set. Medic Marines grouping, and this is, at this point, going to work. The doodads, as described in the earlier portion of the match, might work in Terra's favor at this stage. Ultralisks and Defiler on the hunt. Scourge in the air overhead. A lot of fire bats grouped in to help negate that Dark Swarm with those Zerglings. Finding the army there, the Scourge... Not able to find the science vessels. The Medic Marine's a little bit separated from this attack force. But the Ultra is going to do their damage and just back out. Siki again with a 10 supply lead. Battlecruiser is now taking the field. Terror able to drop some irradiates. However, Ultralis is going to re-engage from that right-hand side. Should be able to whittle down some Marines. Shouldn't be able to wipe out this entire attack force. Another Dark Swarm being dropped. And a Plague. Which is really going to soften that attack force. Drain a lot of that medic energy. Scourge hunting. 
for science vessels not finding anything. They need to stay, and I think the battle cruiser did it get wiped out just by straight up by Scourge. I think it just got annihilated between here and there. Terra needs to find some location to slow Zeke down. Zeke grabbing that six o'clock base. See if he can defend it. More radiates being dropped on the Ultralis in the field. Actually, Terra doing a great job of reading these Ultralis before they're able to engage the main Medic Marine force. However, finding some laggers, still getting some value out of them. Ziki now shelled up across four bases, Terra running on two. Looking to once again, once again, for what seems like the fifth or sixth time, engage over that natural expansion. Irradiates picking out that defiler. Nullifying its presence in the upcoming battles. Terra repositioning to that right. And Terra right now just repositioning. Oh, eats a big plague right there on three of the science vessels. That's going to be critical because the science vessels have been really keeping Terra in this match. He's done a fantastic job of moving between the bottom right-hand base and the natural expansion, dropping irradiates on big value units, defilers and ultralisks. And really preventing Ziki from having anything more than a defense force. Losing one science vessel there, getting a little bit too close to that sport colony after the plague dropped. So Terror actually managing to get really strong value with his irradiates. Unfortunately, not having the energy to drop it right that second. Six o'clock base is up, but not yet mining. We'll see if Terror can keep it up. Comps adding, making sure no additional bases have been grabbed. Zeke's supply count has been growing, but it hasn't reached that critical mass point. No plus three weapons, plus three armor because of a lot of the delays earlier. We do have level four, level four carapace there for Seeky. Zerglings and Ultralis able to scatter the medic marines. They are now in flight in the middle and irradiate being dropped on exit. But with that attack and that catch, it looks like Zeke starting to pull ahead and force terror to his side of the map. Both science vessels getting wiped out. Zerglings and Defilers now in position right outside Terra's natural expansion. Big supply lead suddenly for Zeke. Plagues being dropped. Defiler actively irradiated, wanting to consume to drop some more swarm and some more plagues before getting wiped out, but not quite able to do so. Two more battle cruisers making their way to the bottom left hand corner. Ziki's still not mining here at the 6 o'clock base. But with a significant supply lead and able to get these Ultra and Zergling out into the middle of the map. Which means they're able to pounce on these Medic Marine armies before eating Irradiates for long periods of time. Defense Matrix on a Ford Marine. But the Medic's not able to box out these Ultralisks. So a lot of Marines dying. Another... Irradiate on the Defiler, but does the Defiler get another Plague? Does manage to land another Plague! And hits nearly every Marine with this grouping. And with five Ultralisks pressing in, it looks like this Medic Marine grouping is gonna get wiped out. Two Battlecruisers slowly making their way to the bottom left. Terra losing Science Vessels though, and a lot of map control. Single Hydralis to defend, and that is not going to cut it. Going to force a good amount of gas out of Zeke in the bottom left-hand corner. Ultralis Defilers, Dark Swarm, very close. The Battlecruisers getting wiped out. And Zeke dangerously close to the natural. Terror recognizes it. And that is going to be GG. Man. See, he's good. Two games up over Terror in the second set. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.